In this video, we're gonna change our Django forms from this to that. You can see this is a lot more beautiful than our current Django form. Okay, and again, if you want to type something, let's say you you type the computer name as camp1, you forget to put the IP address and you add the rest of the form and you press enter, you can see it says this field is required. It looks like it's between the computer name and IP address. It's not telling you exactly which one, but in our case we just know that this is only one empty then we will notice that but it's not really pointing out that it's the ip address that is required okay so to make django really usable we have to make so our forms are friendly and looking very nice the tool we're gonna use is called crispy forms we're gonna do this in just five simple steps and all the codes are already typed in the block site step number one Install crispy form by typing pip install bash dash upgrade django dash crispy dash forms copy and go to terminal stop server or if it's not running just go and activate your uh, virtual environment and paste in the code. Step number two add crispy underscore forms under install apps. So you go to settings and settings can, can be found in django projects. Go to settings and just before the app paste in crispy underscore forms you can type it save it then move back to step number three add this this line crispy template packs bootstrap 4 since we are using bootstrap 4 so you go all the way down on the static url you paste in that save it and step number four load crispy form tags in any page that have forms like in the computer entry we have forms right here so in this page just below static files i'm gonna paste that i'm gonna load crispy form tags and right here i can now use crispy forms with this um, form that i called here so by copying that and replacing form.sp and the same html page i'm gonna replace that so instead of form.sp i'm gonna i'm gonna use that instead form crispy so save it and then click that okay our server is not running so we're gonna run the server again we type in that manager.py run server run server and then refresh the page and you can see the crispy is now um, making our forms look nicer if i click save you can see it's now telling us this field is required and it's close to computer name and you can see how the form is organized for us so but we don't want our form to be in this fluid format we want to use bootstrap that we installed in previous video to organize this page a little bit better so I'll go back to sublime all right so here i'm gonna organize this page in rows and columns just before the title i'm gonna create a div and i'm gonna give it a class of row and i'm gonna close that div right here just below the form i'm gonna close the div and i'm gonna organize it a little bit better so that it will be readable tap it a little bit inside and tap this one to it a little bit inside so that is easily readable all right so i've created a row and this is specific to um, bootstrap and i'm going to create a row and in that row i'm going to create um, columns so inside this row which is from here to here i'm going to create a column div class column dash sm that's six i'm gonna use half of that page for that column i'm gonna end that column right below the form uh, a normal i like to comment and where i where my row starts and where it ends like for this one i'm gonna say um first row select that press ctrl forward slash so that that will be a comment and i'm gonna comment this one as well i'm gonna call it first column or column dash sm dash three sorry six save it and i'm gonna go back to html and i refresh you can see now 
this is gonna um, just use half of the row which will be the entire page or within the container that it is in so here we're just using half and now this button if you look at this button is not um, looking pretty so I'm gonna use a bootstrap a class to design this button a little bit uh, nicer and that's my input button so from here I'm gonna give it uh, a class class meeting meeting and dance primary save it and go back and click that you can see how the button has changed color to blue and now if I click save you can see crispy is making our form look nicer while bootstrap is also organizing our format and layout of the page so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you do please click on the like button and please send in your comments if you have any errors we will be glad to help you and stay tuned for more videos